Hello everybody, this is NQ Productions here and welcome to a brand new video. Now, not too long ago, I asked you guys on my community tab on whether or not you guys would like to see some commentary videos. Basically, I would react to my older videos, talk about them a little bit, and then give my current opinions on them to see whether or not the video has increased in quality, decreased in quality, or has retained the same quality. However, I have been really struggling trying to get a good commentary video out. So instead of doing a commentary video, I decided to just review my older videos. And like I said before, to see whether or not the quality has increased, decreased, or stayed the same. And probably I'm going to say that the quality has decreased because I'm probably going to nitpick the hell out of my older videos. But with that said guys, today we're going to be looking at the very first animation I uploaded to YouTube, Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 1. <laughs> Now for those of you who do not know what Stick Figure Fighting Tournament is, Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 1 was an animation that I made back in January of 2017, and like I said earlier, was the very first animation I uploaded to YouTube. However, it is not the first animation I ever created, as that title goes to the Chosen One Swag Return. However, I didn't upload that animation to YouTube until 2018. So Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 1 is still the first ever animation I uploaded into this channel. Currently, Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 1 has over 25,000 views, making it one of my most viewed videos on the channel. And because of its success, I made two critically acclaimed sequels, Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 2 in 2018 and Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 3 in 2019. So now that we're done talking about the history of Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 1, let's nitpick the hell out of this animation. So the first thing that I want to talk about, even before we talk about the actual animation itself, is that the music playing during the animation, while the music itself isn't that bad, is played extremely loud during the entire animation. I don't know why this was a good decision back then, but whatever. But yeah, the music in this video is way too loud. <laughs> So now that we got one of the biggest issues with the animation out of the way, let's talk about the animation because even though I thought this animation was impressive at the time, it's it's not all that great. Over the past three years, I feel like that my animations have gotten much better as time goes on. But I don't think that Stiff Figure Fighting Tournament 1 would be a good example of my animation skills because Stiff Figure Fighting Tournament 1's animation is pretty bad because the animation isn't smooth, in fact the animation is very chompy, the movements are unrealistic, and the special effects just look awful. But it is not the worst animation in history, because there is animation that is much, much worse. But the animation for Stay Figure Fight in Tournament 1 is not good. It's not terrible, but it's not good. Another thing that I noticed in Steve Figure Fighting Tournament 1 is that I did not explain each of the characters' abilities all that well. In Steve Figure Fighting Tournament 3, I wanted to make sure that each of the characters' powers were well explained. So that's why in Steve Figure Fighting Tournament 3 Part 1, there's a giant slideshow showing each of the characters' powers and what they exactly do. But with Steve Figure Fighting Tournament 1, I showed the fighters' abilities at the very end and sometimes people don't watch until the very end, so that's not really good and people might get confused as to whose powers are whose. So that wasn't a good decision on my part. Also, one thing that I noticed is that there's these small bits of dialogue in the animation, but they're not even there for like a second, so people aren't gonna be able to read them, and therefore people won't know what the stick figures are saying. So that's another bad decision on my part. Also, the fights in this animation are way too short, and this is a complaint that I got during this animation and stick figure fighting tournament 2. So that's why Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 3 is such a long animation, because they tried to extend the length of the fights. That's why most of the fights in Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 3 are usually a minute long, compared to Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 1 or 2, where most of the matches are under 30 seconds. So those are my current thoughts on Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 1. It definitely has a place in my history, but the animation is extremely dated. The animation isn't smooth and choppy, the movements aren't realistic, the special effects are terrible, a lot of the things weren't well explained, there's dialogue bits that are way too short for people to read, and the fights are way too short. So like I said, it has its place in my channel's history. And to be fair, this animation is entertaining to watch, which is something I forgot to mention in this review, but it's not that great of a video. So I'm going to give my video a score of 5 out of 10. 
It's not a terrible animation, but it is definitely not a good animation. So there you have it guys, those are my current thoughts on Stick Figure Fighting Tournament 1. I had a ton of fun making this video because it was a lot of fun to revisit my old animations, even though those animations aren't really good in terms of quality. If you guys want to see more of these videos, which I'm now calling NQ Recap Videos, then all I gotta do is just let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos. So with that said guys, thank you very much for watching my video, you know what to do, like the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next video.